there it's Sandy and I'm gonna make a Halloween tag inspired by Charles Schultz I found this to be a really fun one to make so I'm gonna show you how to do that after I get through talking about the new release because of course Ellen has new stuff out and you're gonna to want to see it especially if you're a fan of Halloween or fall cards because there's lots of goodies in here uh, two unrelated to fall sets are these two dies. I haven't had a chance to use them yet. One is nesting stars and the other is a Nordic cross type of pattern, which would be nice for backgrounds, especially for winter coming. This box, this pyramid box, is kind of fun. I've seen other designers are using it as a hat because it's a pyramid and you can just put a circle under it and make it a hat. The bottom opens so you can put candy in it. And I did an ombre background so I could color mine using airbrush and I just masked out a moon. You could do the same kind of thing with inks. And then I drew trees in it, just very simple trees and made some sparklies with my white pens. There's a little magic and I put a tag on it. You'll see the tag set in just a minute because there's new tags for us. This set is really fun. I thought the two of them should hug. So I had to do some creative stamping to make them hug. I first stamped the ghost and I masked it out and I had the bat kind of off to the left and then I moved it over to the right further so that it would stick out over on the right hand side. And then I colored the ghost so that it was it looked kind of transparent with the gray just in the middle, went over the lines, the stamped lines with my white pen. So it kind of disappeared and then did a, a little thing going up from the bottom so it looked like some magic happening. The bat hugger die is made to wrap around candy bars so you can put a little mini candy bar in there for the Halloween season. There, There's a new little stamp set that goes with the tags as well. I used it on the next card you're going to see. And then there's a new piercing plate which I'll talk about a little bit more too. I used the piercing plate in the background but look at this. I used the die from the other ghost set and cut out a little ghost to put inside of my bat hugger and I just cut them out of vellum so get yourself some vellum so you too can have fun with ghosties and I use two different size eyeballs on them the background I airbrushed because I was into airbrush the day that I started making cards and just die cut a circle out of that pierced background and uh, placed it back in after I was all done with the airbrushing Next is these cute little bouquet stamp sets. These lines, if you turn them upside down, they make a bouquet out of the ghosts and you can either die cut them because there's dies or you can figure out how to do the masking. I couldn't figure it out so I drew my own, but you'll see that in a moment. I was intrigued by the cat and the broom and the witch and I did a really weird card with that. I think the broom belongs in the witch's hand, but I'll explain what happens in just a moment here. My bouquet is handmade. I made my own swoosh of color and added lots of white pen because that's what I do in this season, especially this and Christmas time. I added some windows in the background to make it look like they were in a building. So you're looking up toward the ceiling. And for each of the outlines of them, I went over it with a dotted white pen. So it would look like they're kind of sparkling too. And that was fun. And here's my weird card because the witch looks like she's hitchhiking the way her thumb is sticking out. So I put her out there by the broom stop and the cat has just pulled up and swooshed around her to pick her up for her ride. <laughs> is that not the silliest type of card ever? Yeah, sometimes my mind goes weird places. All right, I made a whole bunch of cards with this pumpkin season set. It's got a pair of sentiments that go together and lots of different pumpkins. So I tried a lot of things. This is again that pierced A2 die and it's got smaller holes or closer together holes than the last pierced die. So it's easier to go around an image. To, so I stamped the leaves and the pumpkins on this and was able to sew around on the lines. The last time with the other die I had to do crazy things to uh, get that to happen. Uh, this is a card by Tammy that inspired the design of this, by the way. I had people send in cards recently, and hers was one of them that I wanted to use that idea of 
something traveling across the card. So thank you, Tammy, for that idea. I used No Line Ink for stamping both the sentiment and the pumpkins and colored these with my colored pencils. So don't forget to use your other papers. The Nina Desert Storm is excellent for fall and the season kind of cards. The new tags, farmhouse tag set. That's going to be great for Christmas time as well. And I'm going to combine it with the pumpkins, though, to make my Charles Schultz tag. So let's get started on that. This was a surprisingly quick type of tag, although it took me like four days to get to it because I tried so many different ideas and was playing with so many other supplies. I stamped the pumpkins first and then did some masking of them so I could stamp the leaves. And I considered stamping the leaves on the bottom. You'll see what happens later on with that, but I did punch a circle out of the masking paper as well. This Eclipse tape is about sticky note stickiness level, so it's not super sticky, but it's sticky enough to stay there. And I used two different grays because I wanted some sort of spooky background. When I googled Charles Schultz and the whole scene when the great pumpkin comes up in front of the moon, which is what I wanted to do, I googled that and they have this really cool bluish background but I wanted to keep it simpler on this so rather than getting into the blues I just use a light gray and a dark gray and I used the reverse of my mask so I could then add in the circle. You could do the same kind of background with your inks very easily. I'm just quicker and easier with Copic airbrush because my airbrush is always handy. And uh, my big fat hand is covering the fact that I am <laughs> using the airbrush to make some clouds in front of the moon. So that gave it a little bit of extra mood to throw some color on there. And then the coloring. I kept it really pretty simple because I wanted some drama here. Because I looked at that Charles Schultz picture and there was just this whole dark, dark, dark pumpkin field at the bottom. So I'm just using some very dark colors to work my way up to lighter colors in the sequence to get to the tops of my pumpkins, but I still didn't get it dark enough. So I could have, when I did the, the stamping, I could have drawn the leaves in there and I thought, oh, well, let me just use this really, really dark brown and try to put the leaves in there with that. That looked kind of dumb. It looked kind of weird. I knew I needed to darken all the colors to make this work now that I had put these really dark blobs at the bottom, but I started by just throwing more green into the leaves. There's yellow highlights on them and yellow highlight on the pumpkins, but I had to keep getting darker and I kept adding darker colors until I came upon the notion of adding an extra shadow using the airbrush across the top of it and that tied it all together and I really loved it. And then it was just a matter of drawing Snoopy's head and it's a lot easier to draw Snoopy's head looking like Snoopy when he's a silhouette. And bada boom, bada bing. They do not make Snoopy stamps as far as I know. They used to license, but they don't anymore. So we have to draw our own Snoopies. But the silhouette's really easy. Put the goggles on his head and he looks pretty cute standing out there in the pumpkin field. And there is my finished tag, ready to be tied onto some boo treats to give to someone this Halloween season. All right, that's it for me. I'm going to go now. I will see you all very soon. If you're in need of any of the goodies from the new release, there's a big old link down in the description section. So I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye.